hey guys what's up so in this lesson many people were asking what is a technical post what is non-technical post sir apart from ias ips ifs irs what are the other posts which are available so what i was thinking was i'll list down all the post ones so that you know exactly what is there because if somebody has like explained it to you then it is much better than rather than reading the boring notification so we will talk about total posts classification and technical versus non-technical and this is presented by me Roman Saini and if you feel these courses are helping in any way do give 5 star, do review as much as possible and do write constructive feedback so that we can bring about more and more awesome courses sir and ma'am you can comment feedback query etc all that is required so that we know what you are understanding what not and do share it as much as you can Union Public Service Commission this is how the notification will look next year when it comes as you can see it came on 27th April 2016 many people are not even aware when it comes Last date of receptor is 27 May 2016 so you have one month exactly to fill the prelims as you can see CSP means civil services prelims and this is like when it will happen in August of 2016 okay and this is the commission's website you can go there for more information now who conducts civil service examination civil service examination rules is notified every year by the department of personnel and training DOPT and the union public service commission spearheads the entire process is that understood Second point, how often is the exam conducted? The exam is conducted annually. It is an annual exam. So you'll see IS Officer 2014 batch, IPS 2014, 2015, 2016. By UPSC in three different stages. What are these three different stages? Though the official notification suggests there are two successive stages. Okay, officially there are only two stages. But that is civil services preliminary examination and civil services main examination. So when the final results come out, UPSC says it is a result of civil services main examination. There is no interview according to UPSC. It is a part of main examination. But in layman's term, this we classify into three stage pre-mains interview. That's how we say it. Uh, the exam is usually perceived to have three stages. Preliminary examination, which is an objective type, which select candidates for the main examination. Mains examination, which is a written type. Uh, post which candidates are shortlisted for interview or personality test or interview post which selection to the services is made okay so that is how the exam is there and what are the services under civil service examination obviously the first the most important service for which 90 percent of the people appear is IAS that is a group A service then like group A group B means it is like the based on your grade pay okay so if you are in a group B service like let's say Danips or Danix it will take you about 15 to 18 years to convert it into a group A service now Indian Foreign Service, IFOS, uh, that's how it is called, that is a group A service, some people call it IFS also. Then Indian Police Service, IPS, it is again a group A service. Then there are services like Indian PNT Accounts and Finance Services, then Indian Audit and Account Services. Now many people have absolutely no idea about what these services are. So we have a course on the website which deals with the training and everything to know about the services. For example, you can know about IAS, IPS, IRS Customs, IRS Excise and I am bringing officers of other services so that they can tell exactly what happens in their service. Then Indian Revenue Service like Dr. Avdesh Singh who is an IRS officer of Customs and Central Excise for last 25 years he has made a course on what is IRS and all that so you can watch it. Uh, Indian Defense Account Services is there which is a group A service, Indian Revenue Services IT which is a group A service, Indian Ordinance Factory Service Group A and you work as an Assistant Works Manager Administration, then there is an Indian Postal Service, then Indian Civil Account Services, then you have Indian Railway Traffic Service which is IRTS which goes very high up like sometimes, then Indian Railway Account Service, Indian Railway Personnel Service, Post of Assistant Security Commissioner Group A in Railway Protection Force. Then Indian Defense Estate Service, which is again a Group A service. Indian Information Service, which was recently introduced, Junior Grade Group A. Then you have Indian Trade Services Group A, Indian Corporate Law Services. Like 99% of you will have absolutely no idea what these services do. So I'll ask the officers of the respective services to tell about what their services are. Armed Force Headquarters Civil Services, which is again a Group B. Now Group B services have started. The Heli, Andaman, Nicobar, Lakshadweep, Daman and Dhiwan, Dadar and Nagar Haveli Civil Services. It is just like their state PCS. Just like state PCS for them. Then it is police service. This is called as DANIPS. This is called as DANIPS. Okay. This is understood. DANIC. DANIP. Okay. Then Pondicherry Civil Services Group B and Pondicherry Civil Police Services Group B. So they are just like state services for these because they don't have their state PSC. So UPSC takes care of that. Is there any classification of these services? Yes, they are divided into technical and non-technical services. Now, why are they divided into technical and non-technical services? Very genuine question. Because 
what is a technical service technical service is any service which requires special medical status in terms of vision height chest chest expansion and there are lots of other criteria which you need to abide by in order to be classified for a technical service for example do you know that if you have a surgery called as lasik that is you operate on your eye you remove a corneas flap and you correct your vision you are disqualified for ips in technical services so what are the technical services indian railway traffic service now it is a technical service railway protection force indian police services danips again it is a police services pondicherry police services and indian ordnance factory services so these are the six technical services now you don't need to ask me again what are the technical services so if you do a lasik you are disqualified for it is that understood again i'll repeat irts rpf ips danips pps and iofs indian ordnance factories service now then what are non technical services all the rest of the services which are remaining are non technical service ias ifs iaas irs customs irs it indian postal service icas then you have iras irps ides iis icls and finally danix danix okay so these were the classification in technical and non technical services Uh, do watch this course entirely it will help you to clear lot of faqs thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day